everyone, it's Helen Horto here, the diary reader. Let's get into some diary reading. Okay, May 3rd. I really didn't enjoy my day today. I couldn't walk properly. I walked really slowly. It was boring after school. I was happy to catch the bus home with Clara and Mandy at about 8.30. Mum and Dad rubbed my leg. I was really freaking out and crying. It really, oh, it really hurt. Rolled my ankle. And that's not my fault. It felt like they were making it worse. I was really happy when they finally finished. <laughs> so that was one of those uh, more messages, yeah. eh? So when you roll your ankles... Firm pressure, but very gentle. So if your person says, that really doesn't feel good, just, just avoid massaging the area. A very gentle rotation of the ankle. If that hurts or doesn't feel right to her, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do any more. And avoid anything that hurts. No ice, ice on it. there's no rest, ice compression elevation, it's yep. just, yeah, None come here and just yep. rub it in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'll give you a demo, bring me your foot, babe. So when you're... No, here, stood on my arm. <laughs> so when your ankle's like, you know, one. maybe broken or got a bad strain, there's no like putting something nice around it and elevating it and icing it. This is what they do. Clicks, yes. found a few clicks Sorry, there. Sorry, darling. Yeah. That's alright. That, that's how it goes. And I feel your pain, sister. Oh, that looks excruciating, especially when it's been massaged by somebody else's foot. Like half an hour. <laughs> you do that for half an hour. It's bad enough that you feel like, you know, you're going to die. <laughs> ah, please, it's better now, Mom. It's better. Was this those times when you'd say, oh, yeah, it feels better now? <laughs> it's not even. Yeah, I remember. I was just crying my head off. I watched this really good movie when I finished. It was kind of like The Love Boat. Ah, <laughs> oh, The Love Boat. That wasn't a movie. That was a series. <laughs> mm. Babe, you're supposed to look like you're in love. That's how she ended up with all these crushes, watching The Love Boat. Yeah, maybe. Too eh? much of The Love Boat. Maybe. This morning, Next my leg felt much to... better. Oh, my leg felt better. Today, so the salmon massages do work. <laughs> Is this it? Well, I'm I'm writing about the story. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> what are the actors doing? <laughs> okay, okay, get ready. Had to do a scene. Get ready. <laughs> he was falling asleep. <laughs> it was too boring for him. Mm -hmm. Okay, June first. 6.50 p.m. This morning I started reading the last chapter of 15. It 15 was, is a book. Oh, the last chapter of 15, <laughs> which was a book. It was romantic. When Stan <coughs> put his hand on, Jones, on Jane's James. shoulders and gazed into her eyes. Then their noses clumsily bumped. Then they had a beautiful kiss. I wish something beautiful like that would happen to me. <laughs> Beautiful, like that would happen to me. This guy, man, I met him at a dance one night. I asked him if he wanted to dance, and he was like, nah, but that's a story for another day. <laughs> when I finished 15, the second, the second time. Second time? I read books more than once. How many, what was it, like five, ten pages? No. Because <laughs> I've run out of books to read, so I had to read the same one over and over until I could go back to the library. Oh, man, yeah, hard to get out another book. I started reading The Cry of the Seals. Uh, next but day. what do you think of the 13? In the first 15. kiss? Oh, the fifth, yeah. I was 13, so no thinking about any kisses at 13. Mm. But well. Jane was at 15. And so was Helen. <laughs> <laughs> so was Helen. Helen was thinking about kisses at 13 as well. Anyway, the next day, June 2nd, this morning when I got up, I started reading again. Then, I've read all the time, so then I got up and said, Then I got up and said my prayer. I am trying to be really good now. I'm saying prayers slowly, slowly and sincerely. sincerely. And I think I'm doing all right. I think I'm doing all right. Well done. 
I was shocked today. Rachel and I found a love letter Diana wrote. And we were saying, Diana's got a boyfriend. Oh, Because mum heard us and said to us, Shut up! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Diana's got a boyfriend. And the next minute your mum comes and goes, Shut up! If my mum said shut up, she was pretty serious. I'm surprised that's all she said, that she didn't give us a hiding. And don't ever say... And don't ever say the word boyfriend, because Dad would probably get mad. <laughs> so so yeah. that's such a Samoan thing. You're not allowed to have any boyfriends, not even allowed to talk about boys. And you're especially not allowed to have any Maori boyfriends. <laughs> <laughs> Just no boyfriends at all. Um, <laughs> I am still thinking about when I am going to meet the right guy. Like, if you've read your sister's, what was it, love letters, and mm. finding out that they had boyfriends, comment below and share your story. But that was very mean of us. Yeah. Did your mums and dads tell you to shut up? <laughs> <laughs> and don't ever say that word again. <laughs> Were you threatened with not ever, ever being allowed to have a boyfriend, ever? <laughs> you know, we, we knew that from a very young age. Did you read 15 and dream of having a clumsily bumping your nose moment and then having Should a kiss? Should we do it? We'll have a... No. <laughs> no. Go, 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 babe. Go, go. We'll, we'll imagine that we're the characters in the, the 15 book. No. I'll be Jane and you be... Tarzan. <laughs> no. <laughs> What's his name? Jane and... Oh, I can't remember his name. Who cares? Pretty <laughs> big buzz. Who'd you get a buzz about? Oh, what does that one say? I'll read it. So during the 9th, today at church, Rach said that she knew someone who liked me. I, I said, I hope it's no one at, at our church because I don't like them. <laughs> no offense, guys, but you guys are like brothers and cousins. Don't want to like your brothers and cousins. <laughs> okay. Um, then she said it wasn't. Oh, so she said it wasn't. This person wasn't from church. I was really happy. Then she said that Nathan. I, I won't say that part there. Asked if, ah, so somebody's asked Rachel if she had a sister that went up the stage to get a certificate. He said that I was pretty. I got a big buzz. <laughs> to tell the truth, I blushed a little, but lucky they didn't notice. I hope Rach, I hope Rach goes to, right, so I don't. said, I hope Rach was telling the truth. I would feel really hurt and stink if she was only joking. I really want to go... Oh, my goodness. What a dream, I'm saying right? here, I really want to go to Mana College next year because they have spunkier guys. <laughs> oh, my goodness, girls. Spunkier. Not, not a... Spunkier boys. not a very good reason to change school just because the boys are better looking. Well, you do Dumb say... Reason. You Dumb do reason. say, I know that's really silly, but then I think... I should stay where I am because education is more important. Correct. And I know I am going to go to Altair College though. Yes. So that was just wishful <laughs> dumb thinking that I wanted to change schools. Hey babe, that is just so dumb, isn't it? What a dreamer. Yes, what a dreamer. Okay. <laughs> um, hmm. The things girls write in their diaries. I know. What were you thinking at 13? Yeah, what were you silly thinking girl. at 13? Um, you know, silly girl. Are you going to give me a kiss now? What for? Don't bump your nose into mine. Yeah, nah. <laughs> I'm going to give you a kiss later. <laughs> but we could have just edit it out. Yeah. Like, no, we're not going to show the whole world that we're going to have a little kiss. Why not? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because this is a family show. Okay. Um, what's the next one? I had a bad stomachache. I went to the toilet. Poo! <laughs> Poo, man! Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. See? Daddy. There he is again. Yep. But you're not interested in him now. You're like, connect you like the... Lights Two, going four. on and off. I like him. I don't like him. I like him. I don't like him.
I saw oh spunky <laughs> spunky bum again today. But he never seems to notice me. Oh, he never seems to notice me. I just wish he did, because I really do like him. Hmm. I just wish he did, because I really do like him. I just realised that I like Ricky. That's another name. That's another name. Who is Ricky? <laughs> so, she, yeah, oh, oh, Miss. I know all my crushes. You ask me. I know all my crushes. I knew, I, I know Ricky. if I go back through this, we'll be up to like at least six or seven now. I think I remember, but I didn't realise you went to our school. I thought we went to a different school. Oh, Ricky. <laughs> June 30th. I was mad after tea when Rachel told me to go upstairs. I wanted to be with them, not the small kids. <laughs> You got sent to go look after your little cousins, didn't you? I wanted to be with them, not the I'm small 13. kids. I'm Why should I go and stay with the small kids? I need to be with the teenagers. I felt really mad. There was a little fire on. On the oven. On the oven. We put a lot of things on it to pour her through water, and it blew up high. We all shouted. Shunted. Shunted. Finally, it went down. Look at this. Oh, Spunky is back again. Oh, who cares about that Spunky? And that Spunky. Oi, hey, and that. There's three there. <laughs> <That's> funny. Spunky's <coughs> page is funny. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me finish reading this part. It was an ugly day today. I It rained too. I'm sure Spunky, whatever number that is, looked at me. T <laughs> I'm sure that Spunky looked, looked at, at me, me today. Even the, this hmm. other Spunky and the other Spunky. I like all of them. <laughs> what the heck? I like all of them. This one's really cute, I reckon, but he's already booked. Booked means going out with someone. Oh, skucks. Oh, that one's... I uh, just read that one. Whoa, and July there's another the second. one. Hey, this July is another name. Second. This is another name. Age? That's a new name. So I don't must, say that I had a we crush on We must be up to... Yeah, you don't. Today at school... So at July the 2nd, yes. Read nice and loud, please. Yes, July the 2nd. Today at school, at PE, Hayden asked me if I wanted to go out with Bradley. Two... Oh, okay. Another... That's the name. This, sh, this short, fat guy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, What? <laughs> poor Bradley, you poor little. You know what? They, you poor were, little they were probably Loompa. just telling lies. You poor little Oompa Loompa. <laughs> and then after that, yesterday, I remember I used to be mean to him after that. <laughs> yesterday, oh, I rang up. Yeah. I know. Imagine, every day. imagine he's probably oh, got a diary like this about like, this spunky girl, Helen. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. But then, like, you know, all the spunky guys that I like, imagine if they treated me like that. I'd, you know. Just not very good. Yesterday, I... can I have a like? Is there anything interesting in there? Lorenzo, do? that's so another... you, Lorenzo. Oh. Tully, Tully, Lorenzo, Lorenzo, Tully. Well, stop making up different names for them. <coughs> is his name Tully or is his name Lorenzo? July the eighth, Rach Tapor and I walked to our roadshow practice. After practice, I was waiting for Tapor and Rach at the shops. They told me to go home if I wanted, and I knew that they just wanted to get rid of me. So, I just walked home. Understandable, we've been there before. Getting rid of the, the younger ones. Like, you guys go over there and, you know, we've got business to take care of. Okay, July the 9th. So, we had our road show, another road show practice. It was good, all my bones and body felt sore last night. And they're still really sore. I feel sick today. But I want to be in the road show. All the practices we've been to. And I can't stop now. That's right. You can't stop now if you've been to all those practices. Anyway, I hope I feel better by Friday. Because that's when we have it. That's when we have the road show. So the road show was a, like a little performance thing that we did. I'm pretty sure there was like a dance. It was like a play thing. So it must have, it sounds, well... I think that was the first roadshow that I had ever been in and it sounds like I've really enjoyed it so way to go me at 13. Uh, July the 15th. Right now it's only Dinah, Spencer and I at home so Spencer is our nephew because um, the rest have gone to hospital with dad. Oh no. 
Um, I can't really see what I'm writing because tears are filling my eyes. Yeah, I can't even read what I've written. Oh, okay, so I'm very emotional at the moment because my dad has gone to hospital. So it was normal for my dad, like every winter, uh, to for his asthma to get really bad. So he would, um, it was normal for him to go into hospital around about this time of the year. So I know dad is going to be alright because I can feel it. Oh my poor dad. Okay, so even though he had to go in every year, um, it still didn't make it easy. You know, we loved our dad and we missed him when he was in hospital. Okay, so July the 16th. Today we went to see dad at hospital at about 6 o'clock. Um, Eva was at the hospital looking after dad, so Eva is our older sister. Um, we just call her Eve, but her name is actually Boeva, named after our grandma, my dad's mum. Okay, so Volu said that dad looked really yellow, like a dead person, and she thought he was going to, you know what. I wanted to cry, but I held my tears back. Uh, Volu said she was surprised to see him the next time, because when she went back, um, he looked better. I just got back from the hospital and dad looks a lot better. I loved seeing him. I love my dad. Okay, July the 17th. Today mum dropped me off in our orange car, my favourite not orange car. Lucky there wasn't much people around. After school we went to the hospital. Dad looks a bit better. I miss dad, but he'll be home soon. I love my dad and my family. Aw, aren't I sweet at 13? Loving all my family and my parents. Okay, yesterday was Mrs. Best Birthday. I wished her a happy birthday. Last night, Rachel and Valu had an argument. They were screaming at each other. And I told them to... My goodness. I told them to shut up because Dad was in the hospital. Oh wow, I must have been very angry because, yeah, I don't normally speak like that to my older siblings. Hmm, I'm not sure what they were arguing about, but I probably would have sided with Rach. <laughs> okay, um, July the 18th. Uh, today we finished school at about 2.45pm when I got home. E Eva and Diana weren't home. There was one window unlocked. I tried to climb in and I was really dirty. Hmm. Maybe because it was wet weather, so yeah, I don't know. Maybe I was all muddy. I decided to, to check if they left the spare key with Mrs. Best and they did. I was mad. Why were you mad? Oh, okay. So the house was messy. I tidied it. Eva told me it was tidy when they left, but she said Valu must have messed it up and left it. <laughs> Eve, she's so funny. Right. So, right there, Eva was just saying it was Valu's fault. She's the one that left the house messy. Okay, July the 20th. Um, during this whole day, I've been in Dad's room looking after him and doing his jobs. So that was normal for us. If um, Dad was sick, then somebody would be on shift uh, in, in Dad's room to make sure if he needed anything, that we were right there to get it for him. Okay, so um, while I was in there, I did some reading and some homework. I didn't even get to tidy up my own room. That's okay. Had more important things to do. So the house was kind of messy today as well. But I'm happy Dad is getting better. See, so learning to prioritise. So I love to have a tidy house, but, you know, if, there, if there's more important things to do, then you can put that on hold and, and go and um, do what's more important. Okay, so later on, Mum and Rach made some coconut buns. Mmm, yum, I would have loved that. Okay, uh, July the 21st. Uh, today, I am very happy with Mike. Why am I very happy with Mike? Because he is going to go to church today. Oh, wonderful. Good work, Mike. So that made me very happy. Wonderful. Oh, so Mike is my brother. 
Okay, July the 22nd, I've, I've put a note on here, the worst today or one of them. So this is one of my worst days of my life moments. Uh, okay, so today was one of the worst days of my life. I am sick of my voice being shaky and I hate it when I cry and look stupid. So, you know, um, as mentioned in the previous episode, one of my, uh, well, it sounds like, one of my challenges at the time was giving speeches and I was not confident uh, what really put me off was when my voice would start to quiver I would get really embarrassed and then that would um, cause me to start crying so carrying on uh, so I am sick of my voice being shaky and I hate it when I, I just cry and look stupid uh, Mum and Dad were giving me a lecture as usual, but to this time a real bad one. Okay, so I remember what happened. So our family uh, was assigned to give the um, Sunday talks at church. So that would have been Mum, Dad, Rach, Dinah and me. So five talks. And so our family were like, you know, going through our speeches, like rehearsing. And then I had to do my one and... You know my voice must have gotten shaky and then I got upset and I wasn't very happy anyway I, I've written here that I ran out to the front door and slammed it and ran and sat at the back of the shed I actually remember this it was like a really cold old windy wet night um, so I felt really scared and cold and I wasn't feeling very happy at all Something inside of me was saying that I needed to go inside and that nothing bad would happen. So it sounds like I'm very scared. I don't want to go in because my parents are going to lecture me and I just don't like speeches at this, at this time. I felt really cold and lonely outside. Rach got me back inside. Yeah, and I rem remember Rach, I mean, you know, the blessing and beauty of having older siblings or older sisters. But in this case, um, Rach, is that she was always supportive. She knew how to um, comfort and uplift and, and strengthen you. So I know she would have had some words of wisdom um, in getting me to go back inside. Okay, anyway. When I got inside, I got a really bad, bad lecture from mum and dad. I just hope to God my voice and tears won't come tomorrow. This must be a Saturday. Saturday night that we're rehearsing and I'm praying that when I give my speech the next day that I will not cry I just think now now I would have cried uh, you know I still cry now actually okay uh, July the 28th this is a day before my birthday okay so today was the worst day of my life it was speech day I didn't <clears throat> feel shaky and nervous oh wonderful but when I got up about halfway through I started crying so my voice must have gotten shaky then nearly at the end I didn't really mind standing up there crying must have I must have been over it by then I felt really embarrassed for crying and especially when my voice was shaky this, this was also the happiest day of my life. I wonder why. Because I don't need to practice that speech anymore. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay, so July the 29th. I've written happy birthday to myself. So obviously I've just turned 14. So we will start the 14 year old diaries on our next episode. I should just have it on me because it's my channel. Yeah. Our channel. This is our diary reading channel. Am I reading this? Um, I'm reading I'll this today. Um, so give me the diary before. Were you were mincing around the room? <laughs> mincing? Yeah. <laughs> that, means, mincing. that means mucking around. <laughs> mincing around. Mincing around. That's mincing around, doing your hair and there. I was like, give me the diary. I'll find some stuff ready for... <laughs> <laughs> I went to the bathroom. <laughs> 
on, babe. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Keep it, keep it. <laughs> That's better. That's better. <laughs> yes, it's just stinky. <laughs> A dink bum. <laughs> so, see if you had have done this, I would have had several good passages yeah, yeah. to read. It's just that I'm a faster um, skim reader than you. That's true. Yeah. And that concludes our diary reading for today. Thanks for tuning in. And if you want your diary entry read on my channel, please email them to Helen Hortai, the diary reader at gmail.com. This is Helen Hortai, the Diary Reader, signing out. Have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening. Bye!